What's going on? We back. Good fellow sports TV. We in the building and it's rumors going around. I say rumors that the third team that can help the Los Angeles Lakers land Trevor Reza is the Houston Rockets, the team that I thought would try to get back Trevor Reza, who's making $15 million on a one year deal with the Phoenix Suns. And Trevor Reza actually sat out last night for the Suns and he's gearing up to be traded Saturday when he's eligible to be traded. Now, um, everybody that signed a new free agent contract this year, um, they are eligible with a new team, I believe, are eligible to be traded December the 15th. And um, Trevor Reza falls under that real talk, you know what I'm saying? And good for Trevor Reza, you know. Um, he's a guy that's been underpaid for the last few years. You know, he was in Washington for a minute, um, went to Houston, didn't get his pay. Houston was cheap, didn't want to pay him. So he had to get his money. He never, I don't think he never made $15 million in a season. And I see a lot of players like Reggie Jackson in particular that's not as good as uh, Trevor Reza. So, it worked out for him. He got his money with Phoenix, and um, I don't know if it was part of uh, his agent's plan, but it was part of God's plan in my Drake voice to, um, you know, get him on the contender this year. He deserves to be on the contender. Um, you know, he got a championship, but he don't deserve to be riding in Phoenix. You know what I'm saying? Probably not motivated, not playing up to par in Phoenix, but he's still showing that he got a little bit more bounce to the arms. You feel me? Uh, and Cartavius and Caldwell Pope Caldwell Pope is a 3 and D guy. He's streaky as it gets when you're talking about shooters. Very, very streaky. But uh, I remember he played for the Pistons. I'm a huge Pistons fan. I also like the Lakers as well, too. But the Pistons is my number one team. And I remember, you know, for the Pistons, I think I took him over, C.J. McCollum, and a couple other guys. I think Giannis might have been in that draft as well, too. And I was skeptical about the Pistons picking him because I had never heard of KCP, Catavis, Caldwell, Pope, and the University of Georgia. And, you know, SEC basketball, that you know, that don't ring a bell, you know, for me. At least back then it didn't, you know, um, other than Kentucky. And, um, you know, they took KCP. Um, he improved, you know, year after year, but he never reached the status that we needed to reach in Detroit. I was praying Detroit wouldn't sign him to a mega contract. They didn't. And, um, you know, he's with the Lakers, you know, kind of at the end of the bitch, in the rotation, and really still in a uh, minute from uh, Josh Hart. But um, he, he can D in three, you know. He can defend. You know, the Rockets need defense, okay. They need another body. Um, I think when Brandon Knight get back, if he can get back, he's a solid body off the bench. He's better than Michael Carter-Williams if he got anything left in the tank. Um, they need to start utilizing Marquise Chris. He's another guy that can rebound and D a little bit. So they got to use their guy. Mike D'Antoni has already been always known as a coach that can't make that adjustment and can't, you know, can't, you know, just coach and, and adjust his his coaching methods. And they're showing this year, you know, they're trying to bring the old defensive kind of coach, you know, assistant coach back. But Mike D'Antoni's shown time and time again he had success one time, and then when the league adjusts to the system, adjusts his players. He can't make adjustments. He can't coach, you know, in the NBA on a high level, you know. He could be the offensive coordinator of a team, but he don't know how to, you know, adjust, you know, to the playoffs where, you know, half-court basketball. He did a little bit better last year, and I think that's a tribute to Chris Paul being able to master the half-court basketball and, and, and really get the team in place. You see when he fell out of uh, the rotation with an injury that they was lost. Couldn't get the threes they wanted. Couldn't get to hit nothing, you know. So Caldwell Pope will help the Houston Rockets. They still need another move. I'm going to stand by what I said. They need to move either Capella, Harden, which ain't going to happen, or Chris Paul. You know, real talk. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, you know, for me, it will be Chris Paul. But Chris Paul probably don't have no value on the market. You know what I'm saying? Probably don't have zero market, market value. Zero. Okay, he might have some. You know, somebody like Cleveland need to move some tickets. Um, you know, maybe they can get, you know, um... A Colin Sexton and some, I don't know if they want anybody from Cleveland. Tristan Thompson, I got a shout out to him. Tristan Thompson straight balling this season, man. Until he got injured out like two to four weeks or three to six weeks, something like that. Straight balling this season, man. You know, put some respect on Tristan Thompson's name, dog. You know what I'm saying? LeBron gone. He put the franchise on his back. And I say that literally. And he's really, really making a lot of noise in Cleveland. He getting double doubles, assists, blocks. He really, he really standing up and being and manning up for the Cleveland Cavaliers. So I had to say that. Uh, and I might make an individual video tonight about Tristan Thompson. Um, you know, we got to put some respect on his name, man, and on his basketball game. But, um, yeah, KCP is a good is a good pickup for the Rockets. Let me just speak on that. Huge pickup. If you can't get Trevor Reza, why not get KCP? You know, people say, well, if he's such a good pickup, why the Lakers, you know, can't use him like Trevor Reza? True. You know what I'm saying? True. He not, you know, he not getting utilized with the Lakers. He getting lost in the rotation. Um, but to a certain extent, you know, body type, body length-wise and and, and game wise, I mean, him and KCP, uh, KCP and Trevor Reza is very identical. I think Trevor Reza is more of a proven commodity, more of a dog. Obviously, an older vet, he's championship uh, savvy. 
Um, you know, he might be better. He a better defender and he probably a more consistent shooter from the corner. He going to hit his threes better than Caldwell Pope. Caldwell Pope is probably a poor man's Trevor Reason, but for the Rockets, um, with well, his usage is going to go all the way up and maybe Caldwell Pope is a guy that used, used, that's used to being the number one guy on the team. He used to getting a lot of minutes and, um, he can't get in the groove of LA with being a, a rotational bench guy. With the Rockets, you know, he can get it in one time for the one time you dig. He'll be getting heavy minutes. He'll be running up and down the court, shooting threes. He can he can take it off the dribble. He can score a little bit better. I think he can score a little bit better than Trevor Reza, getting in it, uh, getting it off the dribble and off the bounce a little bit better. He can attack the rim. Um, he can get out and run young, young legs. He still can bang out, um, can defend. It's a, it's a great move by the Houston Rockets, man. Good poor man's rule. But at some point, either Paul – and I know Harden ain't going to do it, but Harden, Harden ain't going to be the guy. But Killian Capella, Eric Gordon, at some point, and Brandon Knight and Marquise Chris, and God for sake, we know Mark, Michael Carter Williams ain't going to give you shit. If they can't, one of them four are going to have to move, man. Eric Gordon, one, uh, Paul, Harden, or Capella. Somebody going to have to move. And Eric Gordon is not living up to the bill. If I can get rid of Eric Gordon and get somebody, or get a couple guys for Eric Gordon, I would. You know, I know they wish they would have kept Lou Williams other than Eric Gordon, but hey. It is what it is. I'll link all to the description talking about the rumor. Uh, much bless to all the brothers out there, man. Don't forget, we on Facebook, we on Twitter. Uh, also, uh, we got a Facebook group. We want to make a donation to the channel. That link's always in the description as well. And I'll have some NBA live streams coming up really, really soon. Also, you can email me, DM me on social media. If you have a video request, I take video requests as well. Also, intro instrumental link is in the description as well. I definitely appreciate all the brothers and sisters holding us down one time for the one time we grinding. And uh, everybody be safe out there these holidays. Don't drink and drive. Make sure you stop at stop signs, stop lights, um, because you know what type of season this is. They don't be playing. But your boy CJ Goodfella, Goodfella Sports TV, y'all know what the business is.